a lot of you can say, hey, I know this is probably going to work, but I know me, I'm not going to do it. This is why you have to want something different in a very, very big way to get to the understanding of who you are. Because it's not our fault per se, why we're trying to achieve something that we truly want, whether it's better health, more money, uh, uh, find their soulmate. And then we realize that we don't take the actions because we're afraid or we procrastinate or we just put it off for another month and then it becomes a year. We don't understand what's going on under the radar and that's what I want everyone to understand. If we don't understand who we are, how do we understand why we're not doing what we say and what we feel we want to do? And this is the key. The cells are programmed. If you have a cellular memory in a program of being like not worth much or lack, you're not going to take action if you don't believe in yourself. So you're more than capable of doing anything you want to do. What we all need to understand as humans who are attracted to this information that I'm sharing and they really want to make a change in their life. If you see someone else who has something that you're, you want, then that should be proof enough to tell you that it's possible. What you just have to understand is the energetics behind it and the biology behind it. They know more than we do about ourselves. They know how to program our minds. So we have all been programmed with the phantom programs of lack and fear and separation and, com and comparing and all this. This is very low frequency, but it also doesn't provide a very healthy, happy, high self-confidence in humans. Most humans feel victims. They feel inferior. They don't feel that they're good enough. Well, if we are operating from there, then we're sure as hell not going to take action because we don't believe in ourselves. And you start to believe in yourself when you realize it's not your fault. You, I, we were all programmed with these programs that we didn't even know about. But where it is our responsibility, though, is once we awaken and understand the truth about how we operate, we need to take full responsibility and realize, okay, well, then we need to override the information that currently is in the cells of our body in your DNA. And this is DNA activation because our DNA is like a signal. It sends a signal out into the field and the field through the law of attraction will bring back to us as experiences in the 3D world whatever matches what our DNA is signaling out, guys. But if we don't know what the DNA is signaling out because it's in our cells in our body and we're programmed to constantly look in the 3D world, they got us looking out in the wrong spot purposely so we never find out how to change anything. Do you want to know what self-sabotage really is on a chemical level, on a physiological level? Okay, this is where it all starts anyways, not 3D. So when we self-sabotage, what we're doing is we get this inspiration, right? We're inspired in spirit and we want to go do something. Well, we go to take action. It could even be a thought, right? It could be a thought first or we literally go and take physical action. But right away, the chemicals in our body, they start to freak out. Okay, why? Because they're not familiar with this new idea. They're familiar with the way you've been living your life, all your life. Now a new idea comes in and the cells are freaking out basically and saying, whoa, 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 these we're not familiar with. They're foreign to our body. We need to get them out of here as soon as possible. So what happens in your body? Your chemicals communicate and your brains your neurons in your brain are communicating and this all happens instantaneously and they all are equal to each other. So what are the programs I said to you that are in our bodies right from the get-go? Let's say lack and um, fear. Well, we have this new idea that we want to start a business. Well, the chaos in the body, the chemicals are like they don't match. So what happens is the chemicals that are in our body that are controlling our body will convince us to not even think about doing what that foreign, unfamiliar idea is because it's the unknown. And it only wants to operate with known ideas, things that are familiar to them, right? So anything unfamiliar, your body's going to reject. And this is what self-sabotage is, right? This is when you start to procrastinate. You start to maybe sweat. You may get a headache. You'll hear all kinds of self-talk 
about how to avoid doing whatever it is that you want to do because your neurons and the cells in your body communicate equal to each other. So if we're programmed for lack and fear and scarcity and we got an inspired idea to step out and do something that doesn't match these codes, the body's going to win because it's controlling you. The information in the cells say lack or fear. But the inspiration idea that you have needs courage. It needs an abundant mindset. Well, they don't match. And guess who's going to win every time? The body will win. And that's why we self-sabotage, guys. That's why we go back to square one. It has nothing to do with whether you're capable of doing it. You absolutely are. It's the cells in your body. So you might ask, well, how are these cells programmed, Kim? How, what, how did the information get in there? Well, that is a long story that we can get into. That's what I teach in my, my classes. But here's the gist of it. Repetition and when it's very emotionally charged, okay? So to step back just a moment, the information that we get goes directly into the cells of our body till roughly the age of seven or eight, okay? Because there's no conscious mind. So that programming is in our preschool. It's right as soon as we open up our eyes, they're nailing us with the false parent and the victim victimizer programs so that we are already gonna embody these things because there's no guard at the door. They know this, the conscious mind's not formed yet. So we have this already in the cells of our body by the time we're seven or eight, and then the lid goes on, okay? The conscious mind is now formed. So the lid's on, so whatever's in here in the jar, this, which is all negative stuff, it's all fear-based, it's all controlling, it's all lack, it's all, you know, competition and jealousy and all the stuff they've programmed us with, right? This is in your body, these are in your cells. So without any conscious thought, what do we do the rest of our life? We're operating on autopilot. We're habitually doing what's in the cells of our body. This is how you can predict your future because nothing's going to change unless you change what's in the cells of your body. Now, they know this. We don't. Repetition is another way of doing this. Look at the last two years. Just look at the last two years. Anywhere we went, no matter where it was, we were bombarded with, get this, it's all negative. All the information we were given about what's happened last two years, it was repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated. They know that's how we embody things. And let's not forget this. When you have a human being in the fight or flight response, pretty well like a lifestyle, they're easily controllable because they can't think. It's just not possible because they're supposed to be running away from a tiger. So you have these humans in the last two years bombarded not only with the repetition of the narrative, but you also have them all terrified of dying, terrified of what this so-called thing was going to do to them. And so this is automatically embodied in the human because anything that's fear-based, very emotionally triggered, very emotionally charged through repetition goes into the human body in the cells and then they know once it's in the cells they've got us because we don't understand ourselves so our cells are directing everything we think and everything we do do you guys get the power of this so i think it's time that humans remembered who they are and understand themselves with the spiritual anatomy and the physical anatomy to understand that you are a master of your own self once you understand this information you are not a victim you are not inferior to anybody and that anything that we have in ourselves can be overridden because i am proof i was able to figure this out and i was able to do this this is why i know this information because i stayed stuck for most of my life i didn't move i was terrified all of that is now gone because all you need to do guys is remove information that was given to you from the environment in the cells of your body. Change the information there, guess how? Change your environment. Unplug from everything mainstream because it's all repetitive, it's all fear-based, and this is how they keep us stuck. Now there's definitely more to this obviously because if you could just read a book about something and, and it would change everything. I think that again would change everybody. But at least this information is going to land in the right ears for the people that are like, wait a minute, I have watched other people achieve things that I should be able to achieve. They're not superhuman. So why are they able to do it? But I'm not. 
So either they never had the programming that you have, or they've learned how to override it. They understand the biology of their body. They understand about epigenetics because epigenetics proves to us that our environment is what is talking to our genes, talking to our DNA. So if you change your environment, then you can change what the cells in your body are listening to. What do you think?